Hello everyone, welcome to this video. We will be demonstrating the second method as we find the solution for an algebraic equation. Let's talk about the algorithm. The algorithm for this method is nearly equivalent or is nearly the same as for the second method. But this equation, or the formula for the second method, was actually derived from the newton raphson method and neglecting the disadvantages of the said method. So, second method is actually much better than newton raphson method if we are going to have our conclusion, for most of the cases, I guess. Okay, again, let's talk about the algorithm. Number one, let us define the first interval. So x sub 1, oh sorry, x sub 0 and x sub 1, such that solutions exist between them. The multiplication or the product of the functions f of x sub 0 or, or and f of x sub 1, which is basically like substituting the value of x sub 0 into our equation, they must be negative. So we could assure that the root or the solution actually lies between them. Step 2. Compute the first estimate of the numerical solution x sub 2 using the formula x sub 2, which you see now on the screen. x sub 2 is equal to x sub 0 times the f of x sub 1 minus x sub 1 times f of x sub 0 over f of x sub 1 minus f of x sub 0. Third is find out whether the actual solution is between x sub 0 and x sub 2, or the, value, the new value x sub 2, or between x sub 1 and x sub 2, which is the new value of x sub 2. I hope you don't get confused. So basically, it just means that we're going to compare the f of x sub 0 with um, f of x sub 2, or f of x sub 1 with really the f of x sub 2 which is like the same on the bisection method and the false position method because we're going to need this as we go on with our isolations if the product of f of x sub 0 and f of x sub 2 is negative Therefore, on the next iteration, we will be changing the value of x sub 1. On the other hand, if it is positive, we will be changing the value of x sub 0. So let us now proceed to our example. Across this series, as we discuss these methods, as we find the solution for an algebraic equation, we will be using only one example, which is the equation f of x is equal to x squared minus 2. Basically, this is just square root of 2, or x is equal to square root of 2. So we will be assuming the first interval 1 and 1 1.5. The f of x sub 0 is negative 1. The f of x sub 1 is 0 0.25. If we multiply these two, we'll get negative 0 0.25, which satisfies our first step that it must be less than zero. Let me just show you this table. This table below here. So this table is the table we're going to use as we go on with our computation. So there are columns i which is stands for iteration x sub 0, x sub 1, f of x sub 0 and so on. They are written there. And so we are going to satisfy the blank rows of the table. X sub 0 is actually where we have that value already, 1, 1 1.5. Then we already have these values of f of x sub 0, negative 1, and then 0 0.25. We're going to find the value of x sub 2 by using this formula x sub 2 is equal to x sub 0 which is negative 1 oh, actually it's 1 times f of x sub 1 
zero point twenty five minus x sub one which is one point five times negative one then zero point twenty five minus negative one. If we compute for this value we will get the value one point four. So we will we might as well write there on our table. And then if we exchange the values of or I mean if we substitute the value of x sub two into our equation, we will get the value of f of x sub two, which is negative zero point zero four. We might as well notice that the f of x sub two and the f of x sub zero is you know, if we multiply them, we will get the product which is positive in sign because negative times negative is positive. So therefore, in the next iteration or iteration 2, we will change the value of x sub 0 to our previous value of x sub 2. That will be our new x sub 0. So if we completed the table already, uh, we have computed for the values, we will be arriving to our solution on the third iteration. And we will see the value of our root at the column x sub 2. So that is 1.4142, which is the value of square root of 2 up to four decimal places. And therefore, substituting this value onto our, onto our original equation, we will get 0, 0.0000, which is accurate up to four decimal places also. So second method is like equivalent to method of false position, but we have different um, different values, uh, I mean variables, and this solution or this formula is actually derived from the newton robson method. There are other formulas though, but I think this is the easiest way to compute for the root using the second method. And at this point, I think, we have just solved it.